Greetings from G Smart Farm Kenya. Welcome to production season 2023. Your host, Boni Gethura, founder G Smart Farm K, also the youngest of Wakado farmer. I won't welcome you officially to 2023. Uh, and this is what we're going to be speaking about today. But before we speak about today's topic, kindly hit the subscription button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so uh, thank you for being on board, for you watching over there and listening. Uh, this year we're going to have a really good engagement. So today we're going to be speaking about what, the, what are the economical benefits of having an avocado orchard like mine. Number one, mostly we all know that uh, the most economical benefit and aspiration of every farmer establishing an avocado farm is, uh, is having fruits for export. Uh, that is uh, from a percentage view we would say 99% of us will always want to take our fruit. The joy of and the pride of, of having our fruits taken for export uh, is one, uh, one of the economical benefits. Number two, uh, for the fruits that are not taken for uh, export, we normally take them for oil processing, which is still uh, an economical way because you sell them per kg. Uh, so that means in every fruit that uh, an avocado produces and reaches to maturity, it is not lost. So you can either take them for exports or you can either take for oil processing. And the other thing that uh, what uh, in my farm I'm trying to do is also creating a local demand. Uh, aside from export and oil processing, uh, we have, uh, there's a very uh, great uh, eating culture for avocados in our country. And uh, it is only in our best interest that we create that demand to become more. So basically here in our farm, we also normally sell avocado for, off, uh, for in our local markets. And uh, right now I will tell you, uh, if you go around my farm, I normally have off-season fruits and uh, right now I'm retailing, selling them at 70 bob per kilo. I'm going to show you a short video of uh, I picking the avocados and uh, packing them and uh, showing how much they weigh in a kilo. And so that is uh, another one-way economical way of uh, having an avocado orchard. The other economical way is uh, during po pollination uh, or rather during the flowering season, we normally have our pollinators uh, that specifically to be specific bees. And uh, when bees come to pollinate, they get the pollen when, uh, due, during the flowering season. And if you have uh, beehives, that means you're able to harvest honey. Uh, in this uh, last previous production season, uh, when we had the flowering on around October, we at least able to harvest 25 kgs of, uh, of honey, pure honey from the farm. So, and uh, 25 kgs basically you cannot uh, eat all that for uh, or you cannot have that for just for home consumption you will take it to the market sell package that is one another economical way of having an uh, avocado orchard you get to have honey harvest honey then sell it and also for home consumption then the other last but not least uh, economical benefit of having an, uh, a well established avocado orchard you can always uh, start propagation of seedlings whereby I'm going to show you in my greenhouse where we are propagating seedlings. Then we've selected a few mother plants where to pick the zions, healthy zions, so that we can provide quality and certified seedlings to our local people and even far and beyond. So those are the basic main, uh, main basic uh, ways of uh, why you need to have an avocado orchard. And uh, not forgetting, uh, there is one economical, do I call it physical or economical benefit uh, that strictly narrows down to the owner. That is called the uh, uh, therapy benefit. Basically, if you uh, had a very tiresome day or you had a very bad day, if you just come scouting and strolling, seeing your avocados growing, looking at them, looking at how healthy they look, uh, it, I think it's a bit, for me, it's a bit therapeutic and uh, it also kind of reduces stress when you see avocados doing very well. And then you breathe in fresh air in the farm. So I think that's another benefit that really people don't see in it. Uh, but having an avocado orchard, you can imagine after a long day of work, you come strolling in your hour early in the morning. And when you wake up, stroll through your avocado orchard, see how the avocados are doing. I think it's a one therapeutic way. So basically, I have given you around five economic benefits of having an avocado orchard. That's for today thank you so much for listening to me as we continue to engage kindly hit my subscription button and continue engaging me on youtube so that we can have a healthy talk and an engagement thank you so much it was your time boni gatura asante nisana